In news that Anthony Davis would like, today it was officially announced that Team Change is coming to Pokemon Go starting February 26th. Let me just pull up the tweet. Why didn't I have that ready before I started this? Starting February 26th at 1 o'clock p.m. Pacific time, trainers will be able to change teams once per year. Once a year, you'll be able to buy the Team Change Medallion, the Team Medallion, for a thousand Pokecoins. So it's, it's a fairly expensive choice to make. And I know that most people aren't interested in changing teams, and that's fine. Um, this is mostly for people who started playing with a group of friends, and maybe that group of friends quit, and your new friends are on a different team, or uh, you met a significant other through the game, and you're on separate teams, and you want to be on the same team. So it's, it's a very small percentage of players who are probably actually going to change teams. But the option will be here starting February 26th at 1 p.m. Pacific time. And of course, that brings up the question, am I changing teams? The answer is, no, I'm not, uh, not Anthony Davis here. I'm sticking with it. There have also been questions about whether this is going to affect anything in game, like maybe certain teams are going to get bonuses in certain things, and I don't think that's the case. I don't think Niantic will implement something like that where uh, only certain players have access to a certain bonus. Because we do know things like, you know, there's a little bit of lore behind the teams, uh, Spark likes hatching eggs, and Blanche likes doing research, and, um, you know, will there be any kind of bonuses for hatching eggs for Team Instinct, or for doing research for Team Mystic, or whatever that third team is? Um, but the answer is, well, I don't know for sure, but I really doubt it. I doubt we're going to have any kind of bonuses attached to our teams. At the end of the day, teams are really not that important in Pokemon Go. Um, it, it hurts some people who can't hold a gym, or who are on the majority team and therefore can't get into a gym because no one ever takes down gyms. Um, so in some cases, yeah, teams matter, but for the most part, we're all on the same team. We show up together, we raid, we trade, we battle, we play Pokemon Go. Now, also in the news, Go Snapshot is live on Android. Not on iOS yet. iOS still hasn't gotten the update. And it seems like Apple is just taking a while to, uh, to approve it in the App Store, I guess. But, regardless, it's live on Android devices, so, taking the, the note out for a spin. We're taking pics. Tuesday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Well, I wanted to take some AR pictures at the Japanese garden here at Cal State Long Beach. Change of plans. Guess we gotta find somewhere else. Cold. All right, this should work. Uh, El Dorado Nature Center here in Long Beach. Just shiny check this first. For those of you who don't have the new feature yet, here's how it works. Or for those of you who do and don't know how it works, uh, let's start with a Pokemon that you've never been able to take photos of before. So we'll start with a baby. This is the first Pokemon I took a picture of the other day. There's a camera icon right here now. I'm gonna point at it so I don't have to put an arrow on screen. So you hit the camera button, and you're going to be taken into this new mode. Scanning around, instead of showing grass like you see in AR, you're going to see these footsteps on flat surfaces once your phone detects like where the, the surfaces are. So even like something like this, hopefully, yeah, we can get it right there. That's exactly what I want. So it'll recognize the ground, it'll also recognize the stump. And we can put little Lola right on the stump. Oh my god, she's adorable. Look at her. The shadows are also improved. You can see the shadow actually matches the shape of the Pokemon. So cute. And another thing you can do is uh, brush on the Pokemon to get their attention. They'll turn and face you. You can also tap on the Pokemon to make them... Oh my god, that's adorable. 
So cute. Tap on the Pokemon to make them do an animation, and then there is another animation that they'll do if you just wait for it. I wish they would just like cycle between the animations instead of only giving you access to one, because otherwise you're sitting here waiting for whatever the other animation is. And well, this place closes in like 30 minutes, so we don't have a ton of time to be waiting. Look at that. Pokemon stays right there. You can also hit the Pokeball icon down in the corner to bring them back, and then send them out somewhere else. Bring them back. Put them over here. It's amazing. We're gonna go a little deeper in though. There's a ton of Pokestops and probably more nature, so better photos this way. Come on, Lola. Here, some flat area. There's a Pokemon I definitely, definitely want to take some photos with. I finally have the opportunity to take photos of Celebi in AR Plus. Because remember, when you finish the quest, it defaults to regular AR. little backlit to be completely honest not the best photo let's get her turn this way and then maybe do some stuff so once you're done taking photos you hit the little exit button up in the top corner and it'll let you scroll through all of your photos here that you just took during that session they kind of all look the same you can go share them um, I'm pretty sure you can link like, social media accounts or it'll share straight through your phones. Yeah, stopped my stopped my screen recording there. <laughs> Here's another one I've wanted to take photos of for a while. Haven't been able to do it before. Fully evolved shinies. Well, I said I was going to do this. Now that Go Snapshot is out, and I don't have to hold on to Squirtle forever. It's time to take one last photo in regular AR+. Plus. Almost. Oh, Squirtle, why are you going all the way over there? Why are you jumping so far back? Here's one thing that I love about uh, Go Snapshot over AR Plus is that since you're just tapping on the footsteps exactly where you want the Pokemon, you can place it right where it needs to be instead of trying to do this, play this game with AR Plus, trying to get it to land in the right spot. Come on, come on. Oh, my screen is not even recording. Now I'm recording my screen. <laughs> so. What I've been trying to do is trying to get the Squirtle to land right there. Perfect. Didn't even have to witness my real struggle, but this will be the last photo that I take with this Squirtle before finally catching it. Oh, he's come off the rocks just a tiny bit. There, works better this way. All right, Squirtle. Last photo, smile. Kind of. Kind of a smile. Come on, waiting for that that smile. Let me see it one more time. Here's another thing that's great about Go Snapshot over AR+. I'm not just sitting here waiting. Hello? There it is. That's it. That's the one. And now, it's finally time to catch 
<laughs> shiny sunglasses squirtle um i'm gonna golden raspberry it just so we can he deserves it after all the traveling we've done together this is actually like the second shiny squirtle that has followed me around the world the first one i caught and then this one was still hanging out in the stack of research underneath so we did a little trip together last year there it is I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to hold on to research anymore. But it was great traveling with Squirtle. Oh, it doesn't fit. Alright. No hashtag. But on Instagram, there's a hashtag. Finally. And now look, I can send him right back out. And place him exactly where he needs to be. Beautiful. Then I can get him to look at me. And then I can go around this way. Then I can take photos like this, where he's enjoying the scenery. I gotta see that animation from the front. Oh, I just have to turn him around. Squirtle, let me see that again. <laughs> I love it. Wow. The end of an era here with Squirtle. Oh god, I almost tripped. Ow! That's a tree branch. Before the gate closes and I get locked in, I'm gonna take some photos here. Oh, that's nice. But I also wanna talk a little bit about future updates to Pokemon Go because it kinda of ties in with Go Snapshot here. In a recent interview with Polygon, Matt Slemon, who's one of the product managers at Niantic, talked about uh, what we can potentially see from Pokemon Go in the future. And he said they're at a point now where they've pretty much ported over all of the features from the main series games that they originally intended to. We have trading, we have battling, um, we have all these things that basically we wanted, the things that were promised in the original trailer two and a half years ago, and from, oh my god, that was an amazing pose. Um, from here on out, we're gonna see Niantic focusing more on developing new features, things that aren't necessarily borrowed from core games in the Pokemon series. Um, and along with that, that'll include a lot of AR features, such as Go Snapshot. This is something that obviously you could never do in the main series games, but you could actually. There were photos, eventually, but nothing like this. We're going to see more AR features. Pokemon! And then the park closed and I got kicked out, but as I was saying, uh, Matt Slemon in the interview said that Niantic is moving now towards more AR-based features. Uh, Niantic is obviously an AR augmented reality company, and for the future of the game, they're focusing on making it more of an AR game. Um, so the features that we're going to see probably throughout this year and in the future moving forward are not necessarily uh, borrowed or, or have anything to do with features that we've seen in the main series games, in the core Pokemon games. We're gonna see new features, new new ways to take advantage of all this AR technology that Niantic has been working on, um, from these different AR startups that they've acquired, uh, the partnerships that they've made over the last couple years. We're gonna see brand new features. So when you start thinking about the future of Pokemon Go and what's coming next, it's time to start thinking outside of the Pokemon box. As an example, there is an exhibit going on right now in Tokyo and there's a video here from Masa Kawashima, who is, uh, well, from Niantic. It looks like the video is filmed through AR glasses of some kind, like maybe like a, a Magic Leap headset. So as you look out the window from the 52nd floor of the Mori Tower in Roppongi Hills, you look out and you can see through these AR glasses, um, gyms, Pokemon Go gyms with the Pokemon on top of them, placed where they're actually located uh, around Tokyo. So it's like this AR integration with glasses. You know, we talked about this in a previous video that I made a couple weeks ago about potentially the future of AR battles where everyone could maybe see them together through their phones or through glasses eventually. So when you start thinking about the future of Pokemon Go, this is what we're talking about now. Niantic is trying to push AR forward as a genre, just not um, as a game here. We're talking about an entire genre, an entire... Uh, category of technology. Now with that said, Matt does say in the interview also that they're still working on iterations of current features, meaning they're not just stopping everything right here, but that 
Current features will continue to be improved, including PvP. We're going to see new features added to PvP. Um, but as far as like whole new features go, it's going to be a lot more AR focused moving forward. And then one final announcement here is that Trico has been officially announced as the Pokemon for next month's Community Day. March 23rd, Trico. Obviously, we're going to get Shiny Trico. We're going to get a special move, which hasn't yet been revealed, but probably will end up being Frenzy Plant and one-fourth egg hatch distance. But the big change here, which is actually a huge change, is that Community Day is going to take place at 3 p.m. local time, no matter what time zone you're in. So Niantic has made a change here where they're now able to start Community Day for different time zones. Instead of doing it by region, instead of all of uh, you know Asia Pacific going at the same time, no matter what time zone you're in, it's gonna be from 3 to 6 p.m. Hopefully this alleviates some confusion because every time we talk about time zones, someone asks, what time is that in my time zone? Well, as far as community day goes, it's 3 p.m. in everyone's time zone. So, 3 p.m., March 23rd. I'll see some of you there. In the meantime, crazy weekend. Latias is coming. Uh, starting today. Get ready. Latias is almost here.